Good morning. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new vlog. I am on to my yoga mat and I am all set to start my yoga. So I will see you guys uh, in an hour. Alright, so done with my class and it was quite an intense class. I am sure I am going to have pains all over. My arms are already hurting. So let's see how the day goes. So now I am heading to the kitchen. Oh, then after breakfast I will have my shower, get ready, uh, I mean get finish my daily chores lunch preparation so i'll see you soon for lunch i'm making very very easy yet healthy recipe which is masala rice with some veggies in it you can use any vegetable you have i'm using carrot potatoes and green peas this is actually my sister's recipe into my cooker i'm adding uh, cooking oil uh, in that i'm going to add mustard seeds uh, cumin seeds uh, asafoetida I by mistake added onions first and not the uh, chopped uh, ginger garlic and green chilli. So it's actually that first and then the onions. Once this is nice and done we will add all our vegetables and we need not saute it a lot because anyways we are going to pressure cook it. comes our spices which is again basic uh, haldi mirchi namak and dhania we will now add in the soaked rice and saute it for a couple of minutes adding some fresh cilantro that's hara dhania finally adding the required amount of water and squeezing in half a lime now if you wish to you may add a little bit of ghee at this stage that enhances the flavor so that's it i'll pressure cook it for three whistles now in the meantime i'm roasting some fox nuts that's makhana for our tea time snack so in a kadhai i've taken uh, some ghee i'll add salt and i'll roast the makhanas and air, uh, store them in an airtight container the masala rice is ready we waited till the uh, cooker releases its pressure now it's time to open it a perfect masala rice is now ready i will serve it with raita and papad so see you guys in a while i'll give you a closer look of the rice hello friends i'm back uh, in the meantime post lunch i did all my editing work and everything my instagram post my uh, youtube uh, upload the yesterday's vlog upload and everything so i have done that and i was just relaxing and lazing around because i had a lot of pain in my body maybe because of the workout uh, which i did today was quite uh, you know intense and could be also because i'm doing it after a very very long time i'm i'm getting back to my routine now so i think my body will get uh, will need some time to get used to it so yeah i was free now we we had uh, early dinner today so i'm absolutely free now so i thought i will do something which is uh, long pending i have been thinking of doing this but i haven't been able to which is uh, cleaning my makeup brushes so i am not uh, someone who uses uh, heavy makeup on a daily basis uh, so usually I just use my compact, my uh, sunscreen and a compact on a day to day basis. But rare cases where I have, uh, you know, a function or a party, those are the cases where I use uh, foundation. Otherwise, I don't use my foundation at all. And probably that is why I haven't cleaned my brushes for a very long time. Because someone who uses makeup on a day to day basis will know that not cleaning their brushes will have adverse effect on their skin so they will do it regularly but since i don't use it on a day-to-day -day basis i don't clean my brushes that regularly but uh, this was a long pending task and i thought since i'm free today why not do it today and share it with you all my way of cleaning my brushes so yeah let's get started to start with i've taken some water in a mug and to that i'm adding uh, some shampoo you may use any shampoo a milder shampoo would would be better I will lather it up and dip in all my brushes. I'm using this brush cleaner that I have which I picked from Amazon and it is called as brush egg. So this is very convenient to wash my brushes. I hold and fix it to my finger so I have a good grip and I start rotating my brushes uh, clockwise and anti-clockwise to get out to get rid of all the makeup and grime that the brushes hold. 
and i'm sure you can see all the makeup that is coming out of the brush my god it was so dirty so yes like this i'm going to clean up all my brushes and then i will uh, show you the rinse process So can you see the color of the water and this whole place has become so dirty basically all the makeup and grime that's come out of the brushes so i've put them in water i will show you the color of this water as well oh god can you see that my goodness so let me quickly clean, uh, cleanse that with plain water i will now rinse all the brushes at least 3 times uh, by changing the water Ensure that we need to be very very gentle with our brushes while squeezing out the water. A few bristles might come out while uh, doing this process but that's absolutely fine. So it's time to dry our brushes for that I'm just spreading a tissue here and if you don't have a tissue you may use a cloth or you may use a newspaper as well. Now one, one rule for uh, drying your uh, brushes are never keep them like this because we don't want the water to drip this side and spoil the adhesive of the brushes because this is where the adhesive is and that is what uh, holds your bra uh, bristles of the brushes. So we need to lay it flat. So this is how we need to lay for it to dry completely. It will take time for it to dry. Yeah, so finally I washed this as well very well. I washed it with the same shampoo and we will dry this as well. So I, if I find the link of this, I will give it uh, in the description box. And if you don't have this, I think you can just rub it on your palm. If you don't have this, you can just uh, take some shampoo and rub it on your palm. I think that would also do. Since I have, I use this so that's it so what i would like to do is i would just spread another tissue on this so that there's no dirt or something that goes on my wet brushes so they'll be safe and so yes that's how i clean my brushes i don't have any uh, you know brush cleaner uh, the sprays that that are available in mac and other stores so this is how i clean it uh, this is my simple way of cleaning it so yes, that's it friends. Uh, that's all for this vlog. I'm ending this vlog here. I hope you like and enjoy. And if you do so, please like, share and subscribe and follow me on Instagram for all the latest updates. Thank you. So here are my clean and fluffy brushes friends.